Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite aspiring revolutionary here, a wandering author, reminding you that we are right in front of a tree. <laughs> that we are all the authors of our own lives. As always, my message remains the same. Spin less, live more. Look at this beautiful scenery. We're here in um, Earn Your Freedom with Frugality. <coughs> We're here in Shawnee National Forest. I have absolutely nothing prepared for you guys. Last, or last night... So I was heading south through Illinois. My past, rear passenger tire exploded, but I was able to get it replaced. I also got a haircut. Um, I actually kind of like the way that it turned out, too. So I do have a few topics to talk about, even if I don't have anything written down. And I want to explore this place while, while we're here. I've been thinking a whole lot about... Uh, door knocking recently and just the impact that it had on me so like if you know me at all uh, I like doing risky stuff right but I was not always that way or at least I did not embrace it and it was not until I spent a long time knocking on doors to um that I learned that it's like even after knocking on doors for seven years I was always afraid every time I had a uh, uh, to go out to turf and knock on doors actually but you learn to go towards the fear uh, often in our culture man this is a nice little view um often in our culture we kind of learn to avoid things that are painful or things that are scary but uh, those are usually some of the things that we need to experience the most in order to grow um the other thing that's been on my mind a lot is uh, just how quickly people go through college and then like you're in a you're once you're an adult for most part like if you live on your own and you have any kind of commitments then like you can't just have, I have a hard way to it's hard to put into words but it it feels like there's not enough of an opportunity for people to discover what they want to do with their life, but I can't really think of a solution to how it could be done much better, to be quite honest. Um, for sure, spending less and living more will definitely help everybody. I have still been hiking quite a bit. I got over 10 miles in yesterday, and um, oh yeah, creation versus consumption. As a door knocker, you have to be very creative. And I think that there's quite a few books out that have been written by people that used to knock on doors. And not even for the company that I used to work for. Look at the bark on this tree. That's actually quite interesting. Um, but like the founder of Mary Kay, like the, the, the product, beauty product line, uh, yeah, no, my brain's really, I did not sleep very well last night, so, um, I do tomorrow want to, I think it's time to go back to the Great Recession, and then we'll continue creating content, um, I'll be in Mississippi by the end of this week, and I'll be spending the upcoming week there, I think we might have some cool cliffs that we can check out while I have you guys here. So this is Shawnee National Forest that we're overlooking. Yeah, we got some view. Not a whole, whole lot. But, uh, some of these rocks are pretty cool, actually. This is called Rim Rock National Trail in the uh, eastern portion of Shawnee National Forest. Uh, there's really not a whole lot of people out here. I passed through Chicago and I don't like cities at all. Not even a little bit. Which is funny because I spent so much of my life on the streets of residential neighborhoods knocking on doors. So, and in a very real way, I feel like I grew up in the city. So. As always, my message remains the same. This is a wandering author reminding you that we are all the authors of our own lives. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. 
what are you guys doing in order to inspire, empower, and, and uplift your communities today? Because this world isn't changing unless we all do our part. And you can count on me to do mine daily. Till next time, I love y'all.